rucksack, cinch up your later housing. We're going to the mountains. And don't forget your Swiss Army knife. And in this case, I think an excellent choice would be the Alpineer. This is a special production run passenger, which is a retired model, uh, probably from the early 1980s. And uh, the passenger was a three layer model with a magnifying glass and inline Phillips, but no scissors. So it was kind of the predecessor to the Explorer, which had all that plus scissors. And I think the passenger and the scientist were the only two models that did have the magnifying glass, uh, but no scissors. Victorinox reported the exact date of production uh, for this tool configuration could not be determined. <laughs> but it was probably available prior to 1992 as a special production. The Alpineer uh, appears to be one of those special productions. And they also said examples of the passenger have been found uh, going back as early as the 1970s. I wouldn't think they'd go back further than 1973 because that was the year that Victorinox introduced the magnifying glass. And because of that, I would think all the ones you would find um, would have the spear point pen blade instead of the clip point pen blade, which uh, the clip point was discontinued in 73. I date this knife from somewhere from 1983 to 1985, just based on the tools. First of all, the reamer has no sewing eye, so that's pre-1985. Uh, and then the corkscrew is a grooved four-turn corkscrew, and Victorinox went to that from the five turn in 1983. So that's why I'm saying maybe somewhere between 1983 and 1985. But the curious thing about it is it does have an aluminum tipped tweezer. And I thought that was discontinued. They went to the plastic tipped tweezer in 1978. But you know, it could be that they just uh, continued to use old stock for a while, or this tweezer was a replacement from old stock. You just never know. It's got this a great looking metal inlay. It doesn't have a Victorinox symbol on it, a uh, shield anywhere. Um, this looks like stainless steel. Victorinox went from uh, nickel silver to stainless steel in 1980, so that would make sense. I will be selling this knife on my Etsy shop, so if you're interested in it, you, you might want to take a good look at it. Here's a view of the top. Everything fits just fine. Everything's straight, full. Uh, the action on the knife is pretty good. It's, it's clicky. Liners look good. Scales look good. But just look at the tools. Opening layer first. Here's the uh, can opener small screwdriver. Here is the large screwdriver cap lifter. No 90 degree stop on that, so that's a pre-85 feature. We looked at the um, magnifying glass, but uh, they used these magnifying glasses from like 19, what did I say, 1973 up until like 2004 with the gray housing here. And then they went to a clear housing and plastic lens, although I think they've gone back to a glass lens. Now these earlier ones were like eight times the magnification, so very strong, you can see. And then uh, across from that is your inline Phillips. It does have a 90 degree stop. These have great lockup, by the way, really tight. Now, this is the longer version. There's a shorter version. When they started making these uh, with the clear plastic, they got longer. Uh, they got less powerful, but they got longer, bigger, and uh, so this tool got a little shorter. And then the blades, you know, spear point pen blade. And this has a good edge on it. I've sharpened these blades. Uh, and then the main blade, get turned around here. Here we go. It. Uh, I've polished this blade. I tend not to polish the uh, era of blades that have the, have the stone washing on them unless I have to. This one had a lot of fine scratches, so many that it looked kind of frosted. So now you can see that it has kind of a mirror finish on it. And I've sharpened it, it's got a great edge on it. Full and straight. Tank stamp by Reed's Victorinox, uh, Switzerland stainless Ross Fry, and on the other side, Fissier Swiss with the crossbow and the cross.
So that's the knife. Uh, it's really clean inside. and won't bother to open it up again. Um, but anyway, uh, if you're interested in purchasing that, go take a look at it on Etsy. And uh, here for your enjoyment is my clip uh, clickbait again. Yodelehihu! Mm -hmm.